How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is a brand new season in Forza Horizon 4, which, get, which means we get a brand new set of Forzathon shop items, including cars, clothes, horns, whatever. Last week we had the Twin Mill, which we could get through a seasonal event, and this week we have the Bone Shaker to unlock. Now, in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to unlock it, the fastest way to unlock it, and why you should do it, even if you're not going to drive it, because the Bone Shaker is no longer going to, be, going to be available to get in this method after this week. It'll only be available through the auction house after this, and it may be pretty expensive, so do this while you can. It's now autumn, as I said, so if we go to the Autumn Forzathon shop, it's obviously a bit different and updated now. And we can see the Bone Shaker is in there. So if you've come here just to listen to how to get the Bone Shaker, go to your Forzathon shop and it's right there. However, there's going to be some quick and easy ways to get enough points to unlock this, which I'm going to show you now, and we're going to do it ourselves. 175 Forzathon points is what we need to unlock this which is quite a lot, which is why I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks in a short second of how to get this super quickly. But first of all, let's see what you can do with the Bone Shaker when you unlock it. As per usual, every week we get three seasonal events that are exclusive to that week, and one of them starts right here at the Horizon Festival Sprint. Oh, my buttons are broken, that's weird. Here we go. Now this seasonal event is actually only possible in the Bone Shaker, which is why if you want to unlock the Trick or Treat Chat, as you see there, the Funeral March Horn, or even the Skeleton Morph Suit, all of which sound pretty cool and rare, I highly recommend getting this Bone Shaker right now so you can do this. So on to how to get the Bone Shaker. As I was saying, it's on the Forzathon shop for 175 points. Now there is a house up here which you unlock with VIP for free. So if you're VIP, you will have this and this basically gets you to earn double Forzathon points. So if you're not VIP, I highly recommend going and buying this house, no matter how expensive it is, because honestly, down in the long run, you're going to love having double Forzathon points. So if you have double Forzathon points, that means that you only really need to do the weekly Forzathon challenge and it will get you enough for the Bone Shaker. And trust me, this weekly challenge looks incredibly easy. You have to get the Ford Capri, so buy it from the auction house. You have to take it out for a 10 mile drive, that's like up and down the motorway. To do some speed zones in it, so do like three speed zones at three stars, or even just five speed zones at two stars, quite easy. And then get some skill chains in it. And then you will unlock enough Forzathon points to unlock the Bone Shaker. And I highly recommend you do this because you cannot get this car from the Forzathon shop after this week. I doubt it will be available in the auto show, so you'll have to end up getting it from the auction house. And no one wants to do that because it's going to be very expensive. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show some very quick clips of me unlocking this Bone Shaker using the Ford Capri challenges that I just showed. Um, all the following was actually done on live stream as well, so everything you're about to see was live, which is why I may sound a bit different to how I usually do. But yeah, you're going to see me unlocking it, and then we're going to fully upgrade the Bone Shaker and have a drive around. So yeah, let's do this. So onto the four challenges right now, which can be done very quick and simple. You can see me right now just buying the Ford Capri and doing it up. Very simple. You can put loads of engine swaps in this thing, so you can very, very easily get a really fast Capri that you can smash through these challenges with easy peasy. The next challenge to do is go for a 10 mile drive, which if you put a massive engine in, which I didn't for some reason, put massive engine in, you can just storm up and down the motorway easily. Um, and then you'll get 10 miles done within no time. That's the second challenge done. Third one is to get a total of nine stars on loads of different speed zones. Now the cool thing about this, you can actually use the same speed zone, which I didn't know. So find an easy speed zone, keep doing it until you get nine stars in total so if you get two stars then three stars and two stars and three stars and whatever as soon as you go up to nine stars that's the third challenge done and then the fourth one is just get a load of skill chains so uh, you need to get six thousand skill chain points nine times no eight times sorry um, which is very easy so go to the airport smash a load of signs up just get six thousand points eight times and you'll unlock that as well and then you can go ahead and go and buy the Bone Shaker. Now, for some reason, my VIP stopped working and I didn't get 200 Forzathon points. I only got 100. So I had to go and buy it off the auction house. But we're in the Bone Shaker right now and that is how you get it. And my God, is it worth it. This is the fully upgraded Bone Shaker with drag tyres and the all-wheel drive swap. And I just want you to see right now.
it's an absolute monster. Just if you make, I've got a tune up on the market, by the way, guys. If you want it, it's called Drag Monster. So if you want to download my tune, you can find that. It nearly gets into the seven seconds at the quarter mile, which is very impressive. But it is just absolutely rapid. I'm going to go and have a little play on the motorway for you all to see how mental this thing actually is. Right, let's park it up. There we go. We're going to do a little bit of a launch control. Hundred and eighty, ninety, two hundred miles an hour already. It is seriously fast, guys. Honestly, and um, it's worth mentioning this is actually an engine swap as well. I put a seven point two liter racing V eight in this thing. Um, I'm not sure what the stock engines like, but this produces about one thousand four hundred horsepower, and you can really tell because look at the size of those rear tires as well. It's absolutely mental. Just out of curiosity, I want to go and see what the standard engine is like. So let's go fully upgrade that and have a, and have a ganders at that, shall we? Right, here we go. Um, I'm going to show you quickly what upgrades you can do to this bone shaker as well. The um, two, two engine swaps, obviously. You've got the racing 7.2 litre V8 and the standard engine, which we're going to try out now. Um, you can put twin turbos on the new engine as well, but you can't put twin turbos on the... On the twin, on the standard engine. Sorry, lost, lost my words. Then aero and appearance. You can pop a nice little front bumper on this thing, which does actually look cool. So I'm going to put that on. And obviously the spoiler is this big thing, which I quite like. So I'm going to keep that on as well. Wheels. You can put all sorts of wheels. You can actually put off-road wheels and drag wheels on this thing. So again, it's pretty cool. And there's just the normal things after this, really. But let's see how much horsepower the standard engine creates. It's got no twin turbo or supercharger or anything, so um, still still in the 600s by the looks of it. 596, 606, 612 maybe. Oh, 606 brake horsepower. So that's how much horsepower you can get from the standard engine, and uh, you can get over double that with the engine swap, so I would, to be honest, recommend getting that. It's definitely not as fast, that's for sure, unfortunately. Another cool thing about the bone shaker, look at the size of that knob. It's huge. But anyway, guys, I don't want to drive around too much in this thing and bore you. You know how to get the bone shaker. You know the quick tips and tricks of how to get the Capri challenges done so you can unlock it instantly, as long as you have VIP, which most people do. So leave a like if you've enjoyed this tutorial, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all in the next video.